Well, for more on the school shooting in the U.S., let's go to our correspondent Sean K. lives in Washington, D.C. Hello, Sean. Please give us an update of the situation in Newtown in the wake of the deadly shooting attack. And do you have any information about the motivation of the gunmen who carried out this uh, horrific incident? Yeah, that is the big question at this hour. What could possibly possess somebody, apparently a young man, either 20 or 24, to go into a school and unload on an elementary school with a semi-automatic rifle, killing an estimated 26 people, at least 18 of those are children. And the information that we're getting, there's no easy way to say it. Apparently, the gunman went into a kindergarten where his mother worked and opened fire in that kindergarten. And the early reports are perhaps everybody in that class was killed. Uh, certainly tragic. We know that at least one person has been taken to a hospital, perhaps as many as three. In the early hours after something chaotic like this, trying to gather all the information is extremely difficult. And so trying to get that out and filtered and make sure we get it exactly right is certainly uh, a, a challenge. Uh, but what we do know is the early identification of the gun gunman had been a 24-year-old Ryan Lanza. However, now there is some speculation it could actually be Lanza's brother, his 20-year-old brother, uh, Adam Lanza. We do know that apparently uh, Lanza, one of the Lanzas, was mad at his mother, who was a kindergarten teacher at the elementary school in Newtown, Connecticut, a very sleepy little town in southern New England, preparing for the Christmas holiday, less than two weeks away when this tragedy unfolded. Right now, it is the second worst mass killing in the United States history, second only to Virginia Tech, where 32 people were killed back in 2007. And one apparently frightening aspect of this, the amount of weaponry uh, this individual carried into this school, apparently had four weapons, was completely strapped with body armor, at least a bulletproof vest, and one of the weapons we know fired a 223 round uh, bullet. Now, 223 is the kind of round that goes into a semi-automatic rifle, the kind of rifle that the U.S. provides its military when they are deployed overseas in a war. So certainly the carnage, uh, the chaotic pictures that are coming out of there, the heartbreak that every parent across the country, across the world, must be going through watching this is certainly difficult to comprehend. President Obama spoke within the last hour. Uh, he said that his sympathies, of course, go out to the families. He offered his condolences to the governor of Connecticut as well, as well saying every uh, resource is going to be made available to try and begin mm -hmm. healing in that community. And then mm -hmm. at the end, he said something very poignant. He said he and his wife, Michelle, will do what every other parent across the country plans on doing tonight, and that is hugging our children a little bit closer. Right. And Sean, about Ryan's brother, we've been getting conflicting reports about his current state. The CNN earlier reported that he was found dead, and then the BBC said he was being held in custody. Why all this